Are we on, Trev? Are we on? Yeah. Do you know what this is? Money. No? Well, it is. It is money, everyone. It's actually a uh, good pen. Five crowns. Fifteen crowns. You know what that is, Trev? That's your wages for the next month. <laughs> no, it's not. Actually, I'll tell you what it is. Hello, everyone, by the way, and welcome to this latest episode of Beer Sweden TV. Uh, today, what we wanted to try and do, what I wanted to try and do, really, was demonstrate what sort of beer you can get for just 15 crowns, okay? Uh, a lot of people have actually sort of written in to me and said, um, I'll put that there, Trev, you can pick it up afterwards. Don't spend it all at once. Um, a lot of people have asked me to actually do some shows on the sort of budget beers, you know, those sort of nasty sort of lagers and things and cans that you can get in the system Lager for sort of 8 90 um, I may come back to that at a later date, but the whole point really of Beer Sweden is to try and sort of talk about good beers, because there's plenty of plenty of pretty sort of lousy beers out there, to be honest with you. Uh, but what we want to try and do is sort of turn the spotlight a little bit, Trev, and laser it in on some good beers that, that you know, we can recommend that you go out and try. Um, so what I'm really doing is I've turned it around on its head and I've had a look through the System Belaget um, database and I started at 0 to 10 crowns and I worked my way up and I've found that really at about 14 or 15 crowns you can actually start getting some very interesting beers in your shopping basket and what I've done is I've picked out three that are all under 15 crowns Trev. Um, uh, this one, the first one we're going to try is uh, Brax Beer Oxford Gold. Uh, this one slides just in underneath 15 crowns at 14.90. Uh, then we've got this actual Trappist Beer, believe it or not people. Trappist Beer, this is monk stuff, yeah. Um, the world's only uh, Trappist Wheat Beer at 13.90. It's a steal. Um, and this one, I sound like one of those people on the TV channel now, that shopping channel. Um, and this one, the last one, Jerva, or Jerva, whichever way you want to pronounce it, again, 13.90. So all of these beers are actually under 15 crowns. What does that buy you these days? Barely a litre of petrol. Uh, I don't think you even get a whole hamburger. Do you? you get sort of like one, but it's not a big deal or something like that. So really is, I think, value for money beers here. Um, and so that's really kind of the concept behind uh, this show. A bit of a Scrooge special, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crunch straight into these because uh, we've got three beers to try in one show. I don't think we've ever done three in one show, have we, Trev? Or successfully done it in under ten minutes. Yeah? Well, today is the day. So the first beer we're going to try is Brax Beer. I always want to say Brakes Beer, like Shakespeare. I don't know why, but it's Brax Beer, Oxford Gold. 4.6% ABV, organic. Okay? It's organic. Uh, so it has all those sort of qualities and virtues. Organic uh, English Target Hops. Um, can you see that, Trev? Nice, pretty colour, actually. Pretty little sort of uh, beer, this one. Um, it's got um, organic uh, Target Hops, and it's late hopped uh, with Golding's Hops. Uh, so again, two different traditional types of English um, uh, hops going into here. Let's give it a whirl, see what we get. Uh, very English, straight away. Um, uh, quite, actually... You get this almost uh, very sort of uh, very caramel sort of vibe going on. They're quite creamy as well. A um, little bit of sort of uh, straw um, and uh, a little bit of bread. Uh, so it's quite malty um, and a little bit of that sort of fruity orchard sort of fruits I think coming in there from the hops. Yeah, I think it's um, delicious. It's got very nice sort of almost sort of um, bread uh, crust sort of thing going on there. Um, quite mild bitterness, but it's coming in, it's there at the end, just to sort of remind you. Um, really is, um, yeah, I think it's a, a, a very solid, a very solid English beer. Uh, brewed using, actually, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this away, Trev. I know what you're thinking, but we haven't got time. Um, uh, brewed using a double drop fermentation process. So basically, it's dropped after 16 hours of fermentation, it's dropped into another vessel, and all the air that gets into it uh, actually does add a lot of flavour to the beer and a lot of the protein and all the other stuff is actually um, uh, left at the top in the top fermenting vessel so it really is quite unusual right okay the second beer we're going to try how are we doing Trev? the second beer we're going to try is this Trappist wheat beer okay this one comes in at 1390 uh, now if you look at that you'll see straight away towering sort of polystyrene head to it as it should be with the wheat beers uh, this is a Belgium uh, style of wheat beer uh, a Belgian wheat um, it looks kind of like to me to be honest with you you know like those old ladies in the sort of south 
of, of like Texas in the south of America. I can imagine when they used to come out to you and say, you know, would you like a little bit of lemonade on the porch? Uh, it would look something like this, sort of lemonade, homemade lemonade, um, apple juice. Give it a whirl, very important to give it a whirl, Trev. Yeah, it's got all your classic lemony, zesty, creamy sorts of vibes to it. And do you know what, for 13.90, it's an absolute must buy. Um, you know, not only does it have all the virtues of being a Trappist and, and so on, but I think it's a well-constructed uh, wheat beer, Belgian wheat beer. Um, fantastic summery sorts of drinks. Uh, it's got a sort of greeny sort of herbal thing to it, some flower petals, Trev. A little bit of flower sort of action to it. Uh, and of course this zesty sort of lemony thing. Uh, nice smooth mouthfeel, that's the wheat doing its little sort of wheaty little thing. Um, so I think, you know, for 13 90 don't even think about it, just buy it. Okay, next one. The last one, and I saved this one for last for a reason, Trev. Have a little zoom in on that one. This is Yerba, this is a Northern German Pilsner, okay, um, and it is actually quite famous uh, in the beer world. Let me just rinse this glass out because this is wow. Straight away, it really does invade the room, the, the nose on this beer. Uh, it's famous for its very, very green, aggressive, sort of herbal, hoppy nose to it. Um, nothing too surprising in the look of it, yeah. Jeff's sort of like looking a little bit nonplussed, doesn't really think it's that, you know, but it's your classic sort of German Pilsner. Quite crisp, quite clean, obviously very bright, uh, quite tight sort of carbonation and a very bleached sort of white head. Exactly as I would expect from a sort of German uh, Pilsner style. Um, but wow, I don't really even need to give the glass a whirl in this one, Trev, because it just explodes with this very green um, sort of herbal type of um, quality to it. Um, it actually says, um, the, the, the brewery itself is, um, it says a lot of the secret behind it comes from the water, the water that comes from its own well, which is over a hundred years old. And this sort of softness of the water means that you can actually put bags more hops into it and get away with it. And that's what they've done. You've got this extremely, as I say, aggressive and pronounced hoppy nose to it. A uh, bit of hay, bit of, actually, bit of, bit of horse Problematical technique, apologia. Actually, I do apologise. Horse manure, it's definitely there. Wet horse, hmm, lovely. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, very clean, very crisp. Um, you'd expect that from a, from a German Pilsner. Um, quite light in terms of mouthfeel. Uh, but yeah, there's a very distinct bitter bite at the end of this one, and it just hangs on a little bit. Uh, hangs on for quite a long time actually um, so um, but I would say it's a, it's a beer that gives me an opinion uh, and for, for 13.90 I think that's a pretty good idea a pretty good deal okay so let's rate these things because I haven't done that um, I've given you the prices um, I hope you can see actually that there's actually quite a lot you can do with 15 crowns Trev so remember that next time you moan about your salary um, you can actually go out and buy some very interesting different types of beer. It doesn't have to be your normal sort of, you know, ubiquitous sort of lagers. You know, you can branch out a little bit. Uh, in terms of ratings, I would say uh, the Brax beer, um, I will go three. Uh, the Le Trap Wit, I'm going to give it three and a half. Uh, it's very solid wheat. Uh, and the Yerva, a little bit crazy, a little bit funky, a little bit off centre, but I'm going to give it a three. Uh, so there we go. Not bad ratings really for 15 crowns. Um, so next time you're in the system Belaga and you've got a little bit of loose change in your pocket, remember, you can buy decent beer. There's no excuse for drinking bad beer these days. Certainly not. Um, and the prices that you can pick some of these things up for. So, until next time, Trev, it's payday. Cheers and beers.